Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this Positive Thursday. My name is Zori Flower, and today's Positive First Thursday discussion is going to be out be about celebrating yourself, being proud of yourself, them little milestones, them small accomplishments that you have accomplished through all your obstacles and challenges. How often do you say, I am proud of me? How often do you say that? Do you know that sometimes we can be our worstest critic? I know, yes, I do know that life can be stressful. We have all kinds of things coming at us. But through it all, just think about through everything you've been through, with faith and determination, you accomplished that goal, that goal or that thing that you wanted to do. You deserve to give yourself a pat on the back. It may not have been perfect, you know, and, you know, because we all are not perfect. We all have obstacles and challenges. And sometimes we can be our worstest critic. I know I can with myself. And I have to constantly tell myself, okay, I'm going to tell you a, a brief story. I was um, at one point in time in my life, I struggled with my, my weight. I went through a lot, you know, especially during a time when my husband passed away back in 2004. Then after that, my weight started to increase more, and I piled on over, like, 100 pounds. And I tried to lose the weight, you know, constantly on my own, but nothing wouldn't work. So what I did was what finally really worked for me, I went to Weight Watchers twice a week because they have, like, meetings. And then the food is really good. You can eat, like, just about anything. You're not never hungry. And also, I had a trainer that helped me once a week at the gym. So when I tried that over a period of a year, now we're in 2019. Between 2017, when I started to get really serious about my health, up until now, I lost over 60 pounds. Now I'm down to 165. I was so determined. And I didn't, it didn't happen overnight. I did it a little bit at a time. Like, I lost, like, two pounds here, a pound there. And, yes, it was times that I did want to give up. Once I started to see how them pounds were starting to shed, oh, my gosh. And I started to see the difference, and people were starting to tell me how good I looked, how healthy I looked. Not only did I felt good, you know, I was happy about the accomplishment, how I was looking on the outside, but on the inside, so, you know, I was just proud of myself for that. <laughs> Not to tell myself, like, wow, I am so proud of you, and I'm proud of you. Now, I want to know, what are y'all proud of, of yourself? What accomplishment, accomplishments that y'all have achieved Do everything? Even if it's just small, because, you know, things happen, doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. So I would love to know what things that you are proud of that you accomplished. Have you ever thought about it? Have you said, you know what? I reached that goal. I done it. I deserve to take myself out to eat or go out with some friends. Just treating yourself to small rewards, even if it's just getting your nails done or guys just having a simple drink or whatever. Anything that 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 uh, that's uh, that's to uh, give you a pat on your back. Because sometimes we have to be our own cheerleader. And then even just a laugh, like, okay, you know, I did do this, you know, I accomplished, you know, doing this and that. I might have felt, okay, <laughs> laugh about it. You think about it, you know, it might have been a stressful moment, and you laugh. You say, okay, that happened, but I did it. Because, you know, did you know that laugh, laughing is good for our heart, mind, and soul? Yeah. And it's the best, one of the best medicines ever, I tell you. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to say, do you know how proud I am of you? Of your small accomplishments? Give yourself a hand. Are you that single mom that's raising kids on your own? Are you that person they may suffer through anxiety or depression or, or lost that close loved one, but you're still making it and you're still moving forward? Or you finish school, whether you're in high school or just small wins? Or you thought about suicide and you didn't do it because you know that loved one, 
you know, that you would have broke that loved one heart or your, or just people in general that cares about you and you didn't do it, give yourself a hand. You are here. Let's celebrate ourselves. I would love to hear your feedback on this positive Thursday. And I'm happy to know that it inspire you. And please share with others if you know that it can inspire them as well, too. Because remember, there is powers in the numbers. And also, you can connect with me on Instagram. I'm at Zoe Flower number 8 That's my username on Instagram. And also, you can follow me on YouTube. Connect with me on YouTube, Zoe Flower YouTube. God bless each one of you. And have a fun, blessed, less stressful week. God bless y'all. Talk to you next Positive Thursday.